why you would want to put it in the washing machine. Maybe if your kid puked up in it. But... I know exactly who I am, where, where. Hello, Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters. I'm Heavy Metal Mama, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am reviewing the Chalk Goth X Crystal Skull Tassel Tie Backpack. But before we get to that, remember to like or dislike this video, it doesn't matter, all engagement is good. Comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So, Chalk Goth X. A few videos back, but it was quite a while ago for me because I took a little break over the summer. I did a video where I discussed the competition that Goth X has for you to be able to design a bag, a, a book style bag, uh, and you can win that bag being made. They will name it for you, it will be on sale. That competition is still open if you want to do that. The video link is up there. I will put the link to the Instagram post so that you too can enter that competition. I still have a couple more that I'm kind of toying with. They're not quite finished, they're not quite right yet. But yep, yeah, I've got a few designs. So go enter that competition. You might be able to win a bag designed by yourselves. After that video went out, the lovely Lee, that is the owner of Goth X, contacted me and said, I meant to send you a bag months ago and we both forgot all about it. And he was like, pick a bag. Obviously, I was thrilled. I was really, really thrilled. And I picked the one that I set my heart on when I was at London Edge last time with Lee, which was the Chock Goth X Crystal Skull Tassel Tie Backpack. So a little bit about Chock Goth X before we get to the actual review. So you've got two parts to the company. There's Chock and then there's Goth X. So Chock does sort of like streetwear type backpacks. They do holographic designs. They do the very classic punky skater style that checkerboard print. My husband, Heavy Metal Hubby, is obsessed with the blue and black checkerboard one that they do. I might get him that for Christmas. I might get him that for Christmas. He really, really likes that bag. They're really clever as well all of them have got like a laptop pocket in them and they're all got this waterproof coating on they're really good quality backpacks it's one of those ones that i forget and then every time his birthday's gone i'm like i should have got him that <laughs> so, i will remember this year in fact i'm going to put it in my phone after i finish filming this so that i actually remember to do it but yes that is chock and then there is goth x and goth x is more gothy it's the goth bags so goth x is a new niche uk gothic bag brand offering vegan friendly classic goth styles in our designs our mission is to produce classic gothic bag collections that are long lasting exquisite and affordable and you know what i mean i was super impressed when i seen the bags at London Edge. They've got some real sort of classic designs. They've got um, like the very Victorian style, they're like a, a giant purse type bags with the little clicker. Um, then they've also got that classic coffin backpack that I had one. I think a load of you when I did the last video were commenting saying that you had one too. Um, they're just, I can't remember the brand that everybody said they were now. It's yeah, I'm sure some people will tell me down in the comments again, but they are so cool. They were so 90s, those bags. They had like chains as the straps and stuff. They do normal size backpacks in this vegan leather and they do these mini backpacks. And they also do the book style bags, hence the competition. I might also send Lee a few ideas that I've had because Honestly, the quality of these bags, I am seriously, seriously super impressed. Okay, so let's just do the features of this bag. So it is a mini backpack. So it's got two straps here. These straps are completely removable. They have what I would call a black gunmetal colouring on them. So they're not silver and shiny. They're like a, a shiny black almost, which I love. I think it goes with everything. These straps are completely removable, which means that you can turn this from a backpack into a cross body bag so here we go look that's one strap off and then i take the other strap off completely da, 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 da. and ta-da cross body bag there you go you can go across the body i need to make it longer obviously or you can just have it as a shoulder bag like that or you can have it as a little tiny backpack the quality of the metal is amazing they have had absolutely no problems with them they're on lovely swivels that can you see so they swivel so you don't have to worry about them sort of getting tied up in themselves all of the d-rings that they come on are really really hard wearing all of the um, details on the front so this one has got little skulls little studs and then these little hexagonal studs um there's yeah a little cross there as well and then 
this crystal skull on the front. Let's see if I can get it to be in focus. It's really cool. It's got like a, it looks like, it looks like a Terminator, which is why I freaking love it. Look, even its jaw opens and closes. I, I just, I think it's just really, really great quality. Really, really like all the little details on it. They're not heavy studs at all, but they are really nice and secure and in there. It has then got a drawstring around the top here. So you, you know, you can just drawstring it, but it also has a zip at the top here. So you can zip all your stuff in, so it definitely won't go walkies. You then, have one of these little, what I call the, you know, the tampons and tissue pockets. It's got the Goth X logo on it here as well, so that you can, uh, you know, know where you got it from. It's a really good quality zip. Both of them are really good quality zips. They've all got the black gunmetal detailing on, even the little zip inside, where a lot of brands, Killstar, uh, tend to cheap out and put really cheap zips on the insides. But that's a really, really good zip. It's also got two phone pockets in here as well you know fully lined fully lined there's also then the care label which says body 100% polyurethane lining 100% polyester designed in the UK made in China and then it's even got washing instructions on it I mean it basically says wipe with a damp cloth do not wash or tumble dry I mean why you would want to put it in the washing machine maybe if your kid puked up in it but it's really really well made look it's a, a full base as well so it stands up by itself then you've got a magnetic popper here the only thing i find is that i do have to draw the string and then push it up and over for the magnet to close just because there's a lot of bulk there but that's fine by me i mean it's of no hassle whatsoever just can't have it hanging down because it literally just interferes with the magnet i mean the only other thing you could do is just not do it up and then do the magnet up again it doesn't really matter. The drawstring has got this little PU, you know, faux leather, I don't know what you call it, like a woggle, I suppose, so that you can, you know, drawstring it up properly. It's really, and you know what? This faux leather is really good quality. It's really buttery soft. I can tell it's not real leather, but it is, it took me a minute or two of feeling it to know that it wasn't real leather, as opposed to Killstar bags, faux leather, which is cheap and it feels like plastic straight away. You know, that as soon as you touch it, it's plastic. So I've got quite a lot of Killstar handbags. I deliberately kept this for quite a while after I received it. I took it away when we went camping on holiday. So the, you know, when I wasn't filming, I have used this a lot and it has fared really well it's i've got sun cream on it it just wiped off whereas when i've got sun cream on my killstar bag it slightly marked the faux leather it was never quite the same afterwards um i use the kids once a day factor 50 stuff so it is like nuclear waste the the, the sun cream so I, you know i wasn't shocked when it marked the killstar one i was more shocked that it didn't mark this it's a really good quality faux leather in fact to the point where i might not buy killstar handbags anymore i might just buy chop ones goth x ones instead because quite frankly i think they are better value for what you get i think that the price point is i think killstar bags can be overpriced i think these are a much more reasonable price point and i think the quality of the faux leather is far superior the stitching on them is brilliant they're all finished really well all my killstar bags the edges of the faux leather here after about six months it starts to like crack and come away this hasn't at all it's really really good i'm running my finger along it here and look just on the corner there it is rolling up but only because i'm making it roll up whereas on one of my other killstar bags it's cracked all along there so I think personally I am going to buy Goth X instead of Killstar bags. So I might have a little word with um, Lee and see if um, he wants to come up with some new designs and new shapes and things because, you know, I've got a lot of uh, Killstar handbags and I know what I like about them and what I don't like about them. So, you know, <laughs> I might just um, stick my aura in where it's not wanted. <laughs> you know? Recently, Killstar the clothing has done nothing for me. I haven't wanted any Killstar clothing items that are of the new drop for maybe the last three to six months. And there's been a few accessories that I've been like, oh, yeah, okay. But when I got this, I was just like, 
I think I'm over them. I think I'm over them. There's a few Keelstar shoes. I do still like a few Keelstar shoes, but then part of me goes, but it's the quality there. <laughs> so yeah, I am gonna say it and I'm gonna say, I think these bags are better. I think they definitely have a slightly more traditional goth style. There is some, Killstar definitely have got their finger on the pulse where designing is coming from. But I think that's because they employ a lot of designers. I know there's a couple of designers, I cannot remember their names, that I follow on Instagram who are clearly very, very finger on the pulse with the new goth. They are young vibrant freelance designers whereas i know that gothex is a really small company with a couple of people doing all the design work so they don't have that hive mind of all these different ideas and at the end of the day the massive budget that i'm sure that the killstar designers do i love them i love it i love it it was it's beautifully weighted it's I get so many compliments on it. It's it's such a great size as well. If I had been able to go to Download Festival, which we did consider going to the mini Download Festival and then decided not to go to the mini Download Festival, partly because of childcare, but also we were a bit concerned about getting COVID. Someone I know that went and got COVID there, so I'm kind of glad that we didn't go. <laughs> but um, on the whole, it seems to have been good, but certainly one person, I know I've got COVID there. I'm just super duper impressed with it. It's so cute. I've got so many cool pictures of me wearing it. I really, really love it. I love the versatility of it being a crossbody, it being an on the shoulder, or being able to wear it as a mini backpack. I must admit, for the school run, having it as a mini backpack, I can just chuck my phone and my keys and I just, you know, run off with it as a little backpack means that then I've got my hands free for when, in, you know, as is normal with most children, they go, take all my stuff. And I've got hands free then as well. Obviously it's not massive. So I did end up buying a little wallet, what I would call a standard wallet, like a standard bloke's wallet. Uh, to use with this but I had been after one of those for ages for all my other smaller handbags anyway because my full size Killstar wallet is just too big for it but you know that's fine actually when you're you know out and about I don't necessarily need a full size wallet all the time if I need a full handbag full then I probably need my full size wallet but if I just want a little bag like this all I need is my driving license maybe a cash card and a little bit of cash so that fits perfectly in here I can easily get in here small wallet phone keys um, a hand gel, a mask, a few other little bits and bobs and that's great. In fact, it means that, you know, if we're out and about, like obviously we haven't been doing a whole lot of that recently, but you know, if we're say at the beach or at the Chili Fiesta, one of my favourite places to go of the year, my husband can't then go, here, can you take all my crap? <laughs> because, which is what he normally does, because he knows that normally I have a giant handbag and then I end up with dragging around everybody's crap, the kids' water bottles, his keys, which is like a bundle like this, and his phone, which is a much bigger phone than mine, and a bunch of other stuff that they all want me to take. And I can just go, no, I have the tiny bag. It won't fit. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it was particularly great when we were on holiday we went on like a bicycle ride and I could either wear it as a backpack on the bicycle ride or put it in my my cute little bike basket because I have like an old-fashioned style bike with a little black basket it's very cool but, <laughs> and it was great it was just the perfect size bag I've taken it on nights out so far I haven't been anywhere I've been like damn it I wish I had my bigger bag because I didn't if I think I might need my bigger bag I just take my bigger bag but when I don't want the weight of my bigger bag then this has been absolutely fantastic I really really like it the only thing I have noticed is if I'm wearing it as a backpack sometimes I do need to make sure that it is zipped up because if my phone's in it sometimes if you have it as a backpack it does that slightly and then it can sort of vomit the phone out if you're not careful but it's got a zip that's fine I just do the zip up when my phone's in there I understand that you know it's it's not going to be perfectly weighted if I filled it with crap you know <laughs> and I am a little bit of a bag lady that likes to fill all her bags with crap so <laughs> 
but honestly the quality of this the quality of the stitching the lining i am so impressed i i was worried that i was going to get it and it was going to start falling apart on me or like a lot of my kill style bags i was going to have it for a little while it'd be great it'd be great it'd be great and then all of a sudden it was going to go and i honestly haven't so far i really haven't and i've had this since may now and it is july so i've had it about two and a half months and used it a lot i would say that i've probably used it about two thirds of my time basically i just don't take it to the supermarket because i need all my store cards and things like that so yeah i am super impressed with this honestly go check out gothex's bags they are beautiful and i think you know they are going to grow as a company because they have some amazing gorgeous items and i'm super super impressed I, honestly the quality is phenomenal really really impressed i love the versatility of having all these different like there's five different points to put your straps on i think you could probably wrap it around your waist and have it as a hip bag if you really wanted to i've got lots of hip bags so i haven't bothered trying to figure out how to do that but i bet you, you could do it you know it would be, definitely be doable yeah i'm super impressed that i mean the quality of these straps is just fantastic really really like them they're really nice and thick they run really well it's soft and supple and of course vegan friendly which we always like we do like a vegan friendly but i know a lot of my viewers are vegan so we like to make sure that they are included so that is the goth x crystal skull tassel tie backpack honestly go check them out they're so affordable go get yourself a goth x bag you will not be disappointed i'm yeah i'm not i'm definitely definitely not so let me know what you think have you checked out their website have you submitted a bag design yet if not why not go do one you could have a bag named after you and you know with your design on how cool would that be to know that your handbag was walking around the universe that would be so cool so remember to like or dislike this video comment down below to discuss any of the things that have come up in the video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever i upload and remember peeps stay heavy